It is an end of an era for subway token booths. The MTA announcing that transit officials will no longer sit inside. As CBS 2's Christy Kalishian reports, their first move is to step out of the box. Gone will be the days of trying to figure out what the station agent is saying through the token booth speaker. This is a new experience. Coming out of the booth is a new experience. Sabrina Rosado has been a station agent for 10 years and is ready to finally meet strap hangers face to face. And what the MTA announced will be a new requirement starting next year for agents who've been working behind booths. A move NYC Transit describes as making agents the eyes and ears of their stations. We sat in a booth with our hands tied, not really being able to provide a full customer service like we were used to. But safety is a concern among transit workers. Passengers United President Charlton DeSouza says he's been getting phone calls from concerned workers, especially senior agents. Why would the MTA do this to station agents at a time when there's a crime wave going on in the city? And we're going to make sure that management and labor are out over these next months as we transition out of the booth to see if there are any un, you know, conditions which we have to address either at, at transit or with, with NYPD. Recent MTA data actually shows assaults among transit workers are down by nearly 60 percent from the same week last year. With the trainings and uh, with the help and the support of the union, station agents are going to be ready to be able to take on any interactions, aggressive and non-aggressive. MTA training and customer service, de-escalation and more are underway. Agents are also going to be given cell phones, hoping to make for faster response time should something happen. Moving agents out of token booths is something tourists say will be welcoming. I think uh, human yeah. contact is a good idea. Especially for uh, looking for the direction because we don't know really what are the, what about the stops also. As for the boots themselves, NYC Transit doesn't plan on restructuring or removing them. At Columbus Circle, Chrissy Kalishian, CBS 2 News.